What's the deal, YouTube? What's the deal? Welcome to Ismilk TV. Shout out to the Ismilk Gang. If you're new to this channel and you ain't Ismilk Gang, make sure you go smash that subscribe button. Go follow me on Instagram at Ismilk TV and how your dro lit at every video at the 7.4 second mark. Let's do it real quick. My big work, lo. It just be a little. It be a little air floating around, so you know that be stopping the lighter from lighting sometimes. But let's get into it. Okay, so right now, you already know. Um, we about to get into it. So this child molester, Minor Mouse, aka Mighty Mouse, he made a video where he act like he pulled up to my hood, to my set. He act like he pulled up on a block and my set and talk to some of my homies and they said they don't know me they only know me from social media or whatever the case was as soon as i seen the video i knew it was fake let me tell you why i knew it was fake because what gang members in la not even just my set what gang members in la gonna let a black four-door nissan maximum a rental basically what gang is gonna let a rental pull up with three males what appears to be like hispanic latino or mexican what black gang is just gonna let them pull up and start talking? Okay, so let's 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 just get into it because one of the Ismail gang members broke this video down the best way that it could be broke down. Shout out to him. The link to the original video that I'm reacting to will be in the description. Go show him some love over there and let him know it's Ismail gang. Let's get into it. I thought I'd do a video exposing this chomo, disgusting chomo who slept with the 14 year old girl. And his fake little stunt that he pulled in L.A. where he supposedly, you know, pulled up um, and talked to some Hoovers. When in reality, he was talking to this guy right here who was in the back seat the whole time. Now, I'm going to expose that um, in this video and how obviously fake these guys are. Um, just like Pino with his trying way too hard to be black, <laughs> um, known as a snitch. Bad paperwork, just like he's got bad paperwork. He's known as a chomo because he slept with a 14-year-old girl. Um, disgusting individual. He is. And, of course, we also know that uh, Pino's a fake gang member, all right? You know, where are Pino's Hoover? Fact. All right? He has no Hoover. Fact. Um, you know, he said that he was a 107 Hoover Crip in Florida. And, um, you know, he's just got no evidence that he actually is one. You know, he just says it. I <laughs> got no homies, got no nothing. Now, this is a stunt that I'm going to be exposing here. It's Milk Watch this. TV. Check in. I'm in your hood, 74th and Hoover Street. Now. Okay, now pay attention. Now watch this. You know, he's got a couple of people with him, right? He's got this guy here. And, you know, he's is. got this. uh Goofy here named Santos. All right, let's see if I can get you on this goofy guy, Santos, real fast. Who was doing the recording during that time? Who's that? Look at this him. He don't right even look here. like a Southsider. He looks Guatemala. Feet right here. All right. Now, I'm going to expose this pulling up to Milk's hood nonsense. That's why I make a right that'll pull right back on seven four, right? Uh -huh. Let's see if I see anybody walking this shit. But let me say this. Not only is this guy a chomo, but he's racist. Listen to this. He calls Milk Seven Fours African American girlfriend, a gorilla. Bro, <laughs> your girl ain't sign language. I'm Amy. I'm a good gorilla. <laughs> your baby mama loves child I mean, this is pure racism. <laughs> you know, black girl gorilla. Um, how can you escape this guy's obvious racism? <laughs> Yo, a racist chomo. <laughs> yeah, send us the address, bitch. We coming to you. Don't. Um, but Milk did send them an address, and they never came. <laughs> he completely ducked the smoke, you know. Come on, 107 in Vermont. Uh, come over here, you know, in this empty parking lot. And what happened? They ducked the fade. You know, these are the facts. You know, no one wants to go to the little Chomo gym and, you know, 
Gitomo activity going on over there. Uh, no, that's weirdo stuff. But watch this. This is Vermont Avenue, 76. It's got to be 74 right down here. Now, I want you to notice something. There's no nobody out on the street. Look high, look low. There's nobody in the area, which they said they are. I mean, there's supposed to be multiple people, according to uh, the Chomo. But where are the people at? Look around. Who is he actually stopping and talking to? Prove me wrong. Find someone. I mean, this guy is riding a bike, but he's going this way. You know. Like, where are the homies at? I don't see them. You see someone where? <laughs> you know, where do you see someone? You just saw, right? Look. Who did he see? That there was nobody there. Like, where? I mean, this guy is completely faking the funk. Yeah, where, where? Where's the people at? Street right there, y'all can see it. Oh, no, I see somebody back here. Hold on, let me holler this dude right here. Put the camera down real quick. Put the camera down. Put the camera down. Now, this is Santos recording. And he puts the camera down. I mean, why not keep the camera up? <laughs> you know what I mean? So we can see what's going on. No, he puts the camera down. And the person is talking in the back seat. You know, so they fake roll down the window to act like you're talking to people. Hey, yo. Hey, homie. And notice how this dude sounds very Hispanic. Homies. Yo. Homies. Yo, what's good? Hey, you know, uh, you know this dude, um, what do they call him? They call him Milk, Milk 7-4 or some shit like that. He's supposed to be out here from this, this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen him. Uh, I don't seen that for him. <laughs> now, it's convenient that the first thing the guy says is, I only seen that fool on social media, <laughs> all right? You know, I mean, how convenient, right? Or some shit like that, it's supposed to be out here from this this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen him. Uh, I don't seen that fool on uh, social media, YouTube, Instagram. YouTube. Instagram. What about you, homie? You, you say, you, you know, you don't, I mean, he, uh, I'm okay, so let me ask y'all this. He fucking, uh, so only on social media, y'all don't, so he ain't never out here on this block or anything like that? Nah, we be posting on the block all day and we ain't see no milk out here. I mean, this guy doesn't even sound like he's a gangster. You know, he's got no <laughs> bass in his voice. You know, I mean, make it make sense. <laughs> you know, I heard that, man, because uh, one of my other homies, man, Bamboo, from uh, 90s and shit, man, uh, he... Bamboo is boo-boo, right? <laughs> who knows who you're talking about, some rolling 90s crip. I mean, you know, the Hoover's beef with the rolling 90, 90s Crips. So whatever he says, who cares? Right? He works with the Hoover, man. They do a community resolution. That's what I am, man. So I had, I had the film going, but I, I put the film. I mean, who wants this chomo riding around doing community resolutions? I mean, keep this guy away from the children. Right, period. Down. I don't want, want y'all on film and shit. But, uh, but um, we fucking, we do a, um, a community. Y'all on film, yet it's the same person talking. Community resolution, man, basically, man, uh, to get kids off the streets and uh, put the guns down, stop the gun violence, man, and get dudes to fight, put gloves on and put guns down, man. Basically, that's what we do. And uh, Bamboo does the same thing. He did 30 years in prison also, man. He goes through some of these neighborhoods and gets dudes to actually fight instead of kill each other and all that stuff out here, man. So um, that's what we do. But, man, yeah, this dude here doesn't seem like he's with Why you ain't mentioned Big man, GD? But, uh, all Why you ain't mentioned GD? But uh, we were trying to get this dude to put on the, the gloves and stuff, man. But I really just wanted to come out here, man, and just holler at some of these dudes from down here to see if this guy is even official, man, on the social media. Let's hear it one more time. The 7-4 be down this street. Yeah, no, I'm posting on this block all day. I ain't seen no milk. He don't even know how to say street or block. All right, now let's, let's talk about who this person actually is. All right. Now, he has the phone right now. Hey, hold, hold this camera. One of y'all, somebody. Here, hold that shit. I'm gonna go push this one. You can fake it. Alright, alright. Hey, yo, what's good? I'm just taking over this guy's live. Grab some of your old awa. Say a mouse. Go ahead. 
crazy. Bring a bottle with you? Yeah, I brought one. Now nah, we run in the path behind us. Disgrace to the real Rasas. Chomo lover. Got him. Yeah. Taking over. Here's Joe Jaws in this bitch. Let's hear it one more time. The 7 4 be down this street. Hell no, I'm posted on this block all day. I ain't seen no milk. Now tell me, is this not the same person? Just listen. What are they talking about on here? They talking shit? Uh, yeah, talking about Pino and Milks. Oh. Says, so y'all gonna fight Milk or not? What a bunch of frauds. Street. Yeah, no, I'm posting on this block all day. I ain't seen no Milk. Okay, so if that... <laughs> If that wasn't a bunch of Gilligan activity, then please let me know what that was. That was fake all the way around. That was like some police stuff. What? Any of my homies see a car pull up, a black car, with three look like what to be, appears to be three Hispanic males, and which appears to be a rental? It ain't no talking. You like the police. They would have asked you where you from. They would have been banging it. You probably would have got snatched out that car. Especially when you mentioned Babalu. I talked to Babalu from Rolling 90s. They don't give a fuck who he been in prison with. Nobody care who he been in prison with. His word ain't good. And your word ain't either when it come to me. Fuck you, child molester. Now, the next thing is... <laughs> they got the little Mexican boy in the back. That's the one who acting like he's somebody. And then this is one more thing. Anybody who live in South Central LA or who familiar with that area where Superbuy used to be at. It's not Superbuy no more, but it's that parking lot where Superbuy, O'Reilly's, and the Winchell's at. Right there on Vermont and Florence, that always been like the little, you know, you could park cars right there. So it always been like a homeless uh, captivity. I mean, it always been like a homeless and uh, whatever. The, it, it always been a place where homeless people go, where they park they, uh motorhomes or whatever so when corona hit when this pandemic hit it the the numbers just like went crazy all that's right there from florence on back you catch anybody standing right there them are smokers crystal meth heads why you didn't pull up on no real game members huh you ain't mentioned gd <laughs> you know what you you know what you're doing you faking the funk you on your block boy activity you on your block boy not block boy jb the black boy the taker you on his type of activities but that ain't gonna do nothing but get you done how he got done you better do your research low you seen what happened to him that's what's gonna happen to you straight up and i don't care last thing <laughs> where was whoa vicky aka p ho at where was whoa vicky at whoa vicky wasn't in that car riding around that area huh <laughs> whoa vicky didn't get in that car huh he didn't go around there huh now let me tell you something when I told this clown to meet me uh, on the street that I told him to meet me at, he okayed it. He said, okay, whatever, woo wop. Then he started playing, you feel me? He started trying to play them psychopathic games. Like, when I leave, he say, yo, I'm coming, or I'm there, or I'm on my way or something. Look, I went right back, you feel me, with two of my homeboys, you feel me? My homeboy, I was on live, you go look at the live, my homeboy say, hey, who is that? They pointing, I'm like, who pointing? And you feel me? He like, I think that was him in that little car. I'm like, what kind of car? He said like a little black Altima or Nissan. That's what he said. A rental. And kind of find out. That's what kind of car they was in. So they passed by. They probably passed by the first time. They didn't say shit. Talking about, I was at No Jumper when he was on the plane. No, he wasn't. He was in a motel room when, when, when I first even found out that he was in LA. And he said he had a No Jumper interview in the morning. 10 o'clock. G, stop playing. He capping. He didn't come out here with no orange attire on. He did not look like a gangbanger. He came out here looking like a stoner. P-Ho wanted that stoner look. He came out here trying to look a, like a stoner, but tried to low-key have him on a Michael's Kors belt. You don't know nothing about that, G. You don't know nothing about that. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't support chomos. You want me to go to a chomo event? That, 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 that Nah, pull up, GD. Pull up, tough guy. You too buff to be scary. And acting like you pulling up in somebody's set. I'm telling you. 
I told Black Boy to take her the same thing. And I'm smoking on a take your pack right now. So either the next pack gonna be a Piho pack or a Minor Mouse pack. Say so like that. You already know though, Lo. Shit, Lo. Smash that subscribe button to join the Ace Milk game. Go follow me on Instagram at Ace Milk TV. Y'all already know the rest, Lo. We up out of here.